Hello, and welcome. I'm Zinder, and here we are once again playing Resident Rise. And, uh, we're not going to be doing any space stuff today. Uh, unfortunately, Meteoric Iron... Okay, let's just go over there for a second. Uh, Meteoric Iron, which I managed to get one while I was screwing around. And I got two schematics. Uh, I guess we'll go put these in real quick. These are not the focuses. I don't remember where I even put this thing now. Ah, there it is. So, when you go next, there's this screen here. So we're going to put in the moon buggy. And now you can see it's right there. And we're going to unlock the tier 2 rocket. Now, as you can see, it's slightly bigger than the tier 3 rocket. It's got one extra in here and then one on each of these sides here. Uh, unfortunately, that takes a lot of meteoric iron. And... So if we just go have a look-see over here at the meteoric iron, you can smelt it into an ingot, and then you can use that to make other things. One ingot makes a plate, so at least there's that. You can put two in here and get two plates. But uh, the downside to that is that you have to keep the chunks loaded. And as such, I, I did have a world anchor in here, you can see there's the anchor. They can just go in there. Uh, I ended up making a chunk loader from chicken chunks. Don't mind that. That was just me checking out what's actually in Charlotte's Utilities because it was updated. Uh, it's just gold, enchantment table, and an ender pearl. I, I originally didn't want to use any of these, but unfortunately the world anchor's 3x3 three three is kind of not useful here because... Uh, Meteors will only fall in a chunk-loaded zone. I've got a full thing of fuel there, which we're going to end up needing that. But So I'm using that to keep a 10x10 10 10 chunk-loaded area. But uh, that's not what we're going to do today. I have been wanting to add on to this house because... Well, first of all, I haven't even finished the upper floor, but I don't want to finish the upper floor yet, because it'll look way too... Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Way too vertical, I suppose. So, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut out the wall here. And I'm going to continue out this direction and the other direction. So, I guess this tree's in the way. Uh, fast? Here we go. So many saplings. So many saplings. Why are you not deteriorating? Hello? Hello? Is there something shoot at me? He's dead now. He was standing in poison. Serves you right. So, I'm going to build it in dirt because that's what I have readily available, and I don't have the, uh... I don't have much mossy cobble available to continue the house with. So, I'm thinking right here and here I can put the angle blocks. This will, of course, be changed. I'll probably... Um, yeah, I'll probably keep wood as a solid theme throughout the flooring on the bottom level. And I think what I'm going to do is it's going to come out here on both sides. And is that going to be enough? Mm. See, I don't want to do if I get too much further out. I'm going to have to remove these windows. Ah, uh, screw it. If I'm going to have to remove the windows, I will go out here. So those windows will go out, and they'll probably just be replaced with cobble and mossy cobble. And so this is going to be the... Ah, uh, poison. This is going to be the, uh, I guess you could call it like the trophy room. So, eventually, once I get all the mob spawners set up for all the different mobs, 
I'm going to start getting trophies. And so I figure, what I'll be able to do is set up a thing of trophies for each of the mobs that I get trophies for. Which eventually I plan to have a trophy for all of them. But I think we're going to bring this over to one away from that. I hate cutting down these trees. So I like the trees, but they're in the way. And they're not deteriorating properly, which is annoying me. Oops. Oh. 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 Uh, yeah, if there's frame spikes, uh, I apologize in advance for those. Because, if you're curious what that is, I actually set up a Windows automated backup, because it's the simple way, for backing up my Minecraft world. Because every time a new patch would come out, I'd update, and then I'd be like, well, crap, I should have... Uh, I should have made a backup before I did that. So, if I ever run into an issue now, uh, daily at 12 a.m. midnight... There will be an automated backup on my world, so I shouldn't have any issues there. It doesn't take that long, though, because, I mean, the world's kind of big. It's like 300 megs or so, but... I don't know. Uh, let's see. The roof is probably going to be right along here. Probably build the roof out of. I probably build it out of carpenter's blocks and make it like a wooden roof, and then use like I don't want to use stone. Um, yes, yeah, so this is basically just me building out of dirt to get an idea of what I'm going to do, and so I'm gonna build out of wood. Out of carpenter stairs, or maybe slabs, probably stairs, based on how I'm building this now. That is going to come up a long. Actually, yeah, I can make that work because then I could run these beams out as support beams, or something. Yeah, yeah, I can make that work. I did move a clock over here for when I was playing Dark Souls. But, I wasn't paying attention when I started recording, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say that I've been recording for five minutes. And, move on from there, I suppose. Watch is probably, I've been recording for like 10-15 minutes already. But, hey, you know me. Don't pay attention to how long I've been recording, and... What am I doing here? Uh... That is a very valid question. What am I doing here? I believe I told it how to make carpenter stuff. Did I ever tell it how to make stairs? Uh, stupid pop-up. No, I never told it how to make stairs. That's unfortunate. Oops. Well, that was a lot more of those than I intended to make, but, uh... Yeah. Uh, balance items. Cool. So, I I guess I could just put these in now. Whoops. Okay, this does not need to be on fast. Why are you not on the bar, sir? This does not need to be on fast anymore. It can be on... Eh, I'll just leave it on vain. So I'll put this back in. So then here's the plan. I'm going to... Place those upside down at first. I'm going to run stairs along here. And it's going to be a simple, you know, standard stair roof. Tree, you are seriously in my way. And yes, part of this 
the part of the whole point of doing this is it guarantees that I'm in Minecraft so meteors can fall. I'm not gonna lie. But I think what we'll do in the last couple of minutes is we'll actually go have a look and see if any did fall. I am not having a good time. Really? Really? Okay, fine. See, th this is why I normally automate building things. Wee! Uh, I suppose this will go here. Right? So, I'm. I've considered doing a stream of some port, some point, but I'd like your guys' feedback on. When would be considered a good time to stream? Because what works for me may not work for, you know, a lot of people. And as such, I'd like to get an idea of when would be best for you guys. And if I only get, like, you know, one response, then uh, don't be sad if the streaming is only done during the time of that response, because, yep, I'm going to base it on what I get as a response, and if I only get one, that's it, so, you'd best let, you'd best make yourself known on when would be best for you, and let me know what you think about the ads, I, I posted it in the annotation on the previous video, I think there was an ad, that I was attempting to be an ad, so, What am I doing here? You can go away. Right? I have a feeling that stair didn't place quite right. I'm on stairs. It's right though, that stair didn't place quite right. So... Maybe, I think I have an idea of what I'm doing with the walls. So maybe I should grab some stone. Try to come up with, uh, oh, my inventory is filled to the brim. So let's get some stone. Uh, say five. I don't need you. Uh, I'll deal with you later. There. So I'm going to make some slabs. And I need my hammer from the statues mod. So starting, say, here, I'm going to put two of those. Uh, do that. Slap this with a hammer. Put me in there and sculpt it. Uh, do I have... I have some weapons down here. I just want to try some things. Hmm. Guess we'll grab the... Uh, we'll grab the steel sword. And the set of steel armor because it's there. So I never actually did anything to the metallurgy steel armor, so it still looks as it did. Eh. Hmm. Well, it's not the metallurgy steel sword, but... Basically, what I want to do is I want to make different armor sets and basically have them along here like this. 
And then once it gets to the end, there'll be like some shelves or something that'll contain the trophies. I'm not sure how many trophies there are. Let's see if we can't look it up, maybe? Trophy. You're not helpful. Huh. Interesting. Uh, I'm assuming the... You're being a bit slow today. Why is this? So, I believe these... Yeah, they're a research thing. What about the tables? Hmm. I could use the tables and put the trophies on them. I mean, I could just make, say, a microblock shelf. I wanted to make pedestals and then put them on that, because it should fit pretty perfectly for each of the statues, but... Oh, and I tried making this work, and it didn't, which was kind of disappointing, but, uh... How much wood do I have? Well, anyhow, I think you get the idea of what I plan to do there, and then I want to expand it out that way as well, because... Well, I want to make this a sort of like a living room, and then that's like a trophy room, and then like over there I can put, say, a kitchen or something. And I'm not sure if I'll expand out that way or not. This is my uh, cactus farm. That's basically how my cactus farming goes. Although what I was actually doing is I would stand in the middle and just in a circle and then replant them. But not terribly interesting, I, I know. Hmm. Something just doesn't seem right. Uh, we got some willow logs. If I put these, say... Hmm. <laughs> Oops. Phantom Bridge. Thinking what I can do is I'll put these can come out here. Like so. Uh, do I have any more willow? Willow... I've got 30. Cool, cool. So what I can do is I can run these along here. I'm not gonna lie, I really like the uh, Natura willow logs. That's what these are. Although, that's funny because it's block.log.hopseed.name. Good job, Wyla. Good job. So I'll knock that out, since it's a bit in the way. And then what I can do is say every... Well, how big is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11. Hmm. 11 not really divisible by a number, so we'll go... Come in... Three, maybe? No. I think I'll put it right here on the same level. Oh. Well, it seems they do become evenly spaced. Yeah, right, because I suppose if I put in two, that would be nine. Although, uh, I think I'm going to want one here as well. Yeah. So then that's like the support beam for the uh, the ceilings. Do I want to bring anything down as well? Uh, that'd get in the way of the statues.
Uh, how many sets of armor are I going to put up? I'll probably make wood, iron, leather, gold, diamond, I don't know. Let's just knock this out. I want to see... This is pretty much in the dead centers. Let's... Hmm. So if I did that on both sides, I would lose out on two. Let's just chop down one of these. Good, that tree seems to have completely left. How does that look? Because then it doesn't look like it's being held up by just stretching over. I mean, yeah, there's going to be these here and whatnot, but... Oh. I'm curious... Uh, heck with it, cut down another tree. Random things, you're not doing a very good job of completely tearing things down. Okay. So. Uh... Eh, maybe? Far back is this? There. Hmm. Maybe. And then I'll be able to get, what, two more statues in over here? I don't plan to rely on bloodlights here as either, but or here as well either, but uh, I'm putting them in because I want to make sure I have some light. Uh, let's grab some more stone... 10? Maybe? So if I put... Wait. One of these is not like the other. Oh. 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 I just thought something seemed out of place. I suppose that answers it. Uh, let me guess. That's one over and that's two over. Yeah. Yeah. What? Give me that. Oh. So let's try this again from a proper location. Stupid poison water! I swear, I'm going to find a way to pull every single bit of that out of this entire place. Okay, so I'm going to throw down another blood lamp. And let's just place down some more of these... get an idea of how much space we got to work with here. So then I can have what is this? Five wide then? And it'll be I'll be able to have like two sets of two sets of trophies. So like ten trophies. So I might have to pick and choose them uh, depending on what I end up with. But then again, I don't think Vanilla has that many monsters. What I can do... Uh, what do I need? Ten more? Is I can get these statues prepared. Oh. 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 Get out of your seeds. And I need two more stone now. Because I screwed it up. 
Okay. I accidentally put the hammer on my bar, but that's not a bad thing. I'm not gonna lie, having this many statues of myself seems very narcissistic. Somebody has way too many statues of themselves. Okay, so then I'll put this in here. No, I do not want you holding those things in your hands. And then, over against this wall, I don't really have anything for myself to build with. This is a slight problem. Hmm. But, this will be the wall. I feel like the beams are a bit... They, they serve two purposes. Like, they're kind of obstructing the view a bit. They won't be obstructing the trophies. But, they add depth. They make it look just a little bit bigger than it really is. Now the question is, say I were to be... Hmm. It looks really flat right now, and really stout in comparison to the surrounding building, but that's because I don't have the roof built up yet, and I'm going to have to work on that. Uh, we are, however, getting close to a wrapping up point. Now, this will be safe because I have the force field on. So, you know what? I don't have any slopes. Give me two. Give me one of these and one of these. So. That'll go there. That'll go there. I'm going to put the mossy on that side. Because this side already has a lot. And I don't want it to feel too... Intense. I, I don't want to feel have one side feel way overwhelming on its mossy cobble. Uh, you know what? Let's... Let's change which side these ones are on. Hey, where's my mossy cobble? Thank you. Yeah, I like that a lot better. It makes this one seem less vertical, and it makes this side seem like it has... It's not quite as strong. Yeah. Unfortunately, these windows are going to have to go. Because there's going to be a wall in the way. Although that eliminates the problem of that being over a window, so I find that helpful. You know what? I think I'm just going to fill those window bits in with just cobble. And leave it as just cobble. Because there's already quite a bit of mossy cobblestone around those areas. Hopefully it doesn't look too out of place. Uh... Oops. Yeah, I, I just don't like the massive bit of emptiness going on there. Did I break a piece of stair? And I would have just moved that up to there, but I realized that side looks very similar. Yeah, I definitely did. That, that, and that. There we go. Yeah, I think that's going to turn out quite... Uh, I'm going to actually kind of like that when it's done. Uh, I'm going to try and figure out where I'm going to want windows. Maybe I'll use... Can I use these blocks with the carpenter's ones? No. That's unfortunate. Hmm. I'm going to think about that. Uh, we have pretty much hit the end of this. I just want to go quickly see if any meteors have fallen in the the moon. Oh, jeez. 
Yeah, it's a bit too dark there for my preference. I have to be really careful with jumping back and forth between dimensions, because it can end up causing a lot of issues with game performance. So, the moon is on a different daylight cycle, which I guess technically makes sense. It also creates difficulties. The difficulties, of course, being that there is very annoying mobs that spawn on the moon. And it's also a lot harder to see. That's an aura node. I don't see any meteors. I might actually have to be on the moon, which would be very, very unhealthy. Uh, I'm probably going to have to be on the moon. Probably can't just chunk load it. Well, that's sad. Because it's going to take a lot of waiting, and I'm pretty sure I don't have the materials for this, uh, I'm going to make an oxygen... I'm going to take the oxygen uh, collector that I made to the moon, and I'm going to make one of these, which I don't have pretty much anything for. As you can see, it takes two fans, two vents, and then some plates... We've got the aluminum, I'm going to need more steel. And more steel. Basic wafers. Hmm. Actually, that's not going to be enough, is it? Okay, hopefully this doesn't take that long. I want to... Eh, screw it. I'm going to make the collector, or not the collector, the bubble distributor, and then I'll show it to you next time. Uh, I'm going to be sending the entirety of it tomorrow, or later today, however you want to look at it. Uh, this is going to be going up uh, six and a half hours from the time I recorded it. Uh, I've been scheduling all of my Resident Rise episodes at 7 a.m., and occasionally, uh, this is Eastern Standard Time, and occasionally if I can't meet that deadline, I'll just not upload for the day. Uh, however, the Dark Souls episode of yesterday, I said, to heck with it, it's going to be up within a reasonable amount of time, and it's such a new game, I want to get the episodes out there that I just kind of pushed it anyhow. So, I'm going to call this good, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.